Etienne Stadwick. This is the fourth time Already. or the second time as a band leader in mm -hmm. this project. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have a very long history with the Reynolds. Uh, it goes back to the Berkeley <laughs> years. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> it's long. Uh, why do you think that young musicians would benefit from this uh, project? If, what would they learn that they don't learn in college? Well, I can't say that they wouldn't learn it in college because it really ultimately depends on the teaching system and on the teacher, you right. know? Um, if, if they were in a situation where they had an ensemble, where they were really being led hands-on by the teacher, then it would be a fairly similar idea to the setting here. I think what is so special about this situation is that since every section has its own leader, right. you know, it's a very direct, very hands-on, and that's really the, the, the purpose of the, you know, of the, of the project, the, the concept behind the camp is that the students sit, like literally sit with their teacher in the section. In the section. You know, right. and so if there's anything that the leader hears, he can directly say, okay, well, try this, approach it this right. way. Um, you know, work on this, you know, thing and don't play it this way or don't play it this way. Try figuring it this, you know, it's very direct. You know, normally if you're in an ensemble, there'll be one teacher, right. you know. So if you have an ensemble of 10 different instruments, you know, attempt different students, students, few trumpets, few saxophones, few whatever, the odds of this one teacher knowing specifically how to play your stuff on your instrument, on all the instruments, it's really small. You know, if I'm a piano player, I, I'll be able to give specific instructions or suggestions to the piano player and maybe semi-specific instructions to the rhythm section but I'm not going to be able to tell the trumpet player, yeah, right. um, try to phrase it this way, use these valves, you know, I don't know. But here they have their teacher sitting right next to them and he can instantly give them feedback on what they're doing and that's what makes this project special, I think. Now, how does this gig compare to a sideman kick, like for example, <laughs> uh, you know, with a sideman kick that you, I saw you with Richard Bono. Mm -hmm. How does it compare for me yeah. at my role? Yeah. Well, the biggest difference for me is that now the full responsibility of the ensemble lies with me. You know, when I was with Bona, um, I, I had like more of a second leader role. You know, I would, I would help well, uh, it, it, with stuff, but it was not my ultimate it, responsibility, you know? It compliments your... Uh, it's a compliment that you think like that. Oh, yeah, because some, somebody like you are, has, shouldn't play second fiddle to anybody. Well, but I don't think of it as second fiddle. That's the thing, you know? I have a role in whatever that situation happens to be. You know, right, and that's my role, and I don't really rate it as like this is the most you know, if if out of out of uh, let's say we go back to the Richard Bona right. project, there's five of us in the band. Yeah, you know, if the drummer doesn't show up to the gig, it's gonna be a very very different gig. Right, you know, it's gonna be a very different gig, and he's not the leader. He's not, he's not even responsible for anybody else but himself. But is he any less important than Mr. Bona or than me or than, no. He just has a different role. So I don't really think of it as me being second fiddle, fiddle to Mr. Bona. I think of it, this is my role. Right. And I'm gonna do the best with my ability to fulfill that role. I think that one will hear a lot more about you in the future, uh, which I hope, and uh, wish you all the best wow. for uh, everything, every plan I that you have. I sincerely appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.